Okay guys, welcome back. Sorry that the uh, the office looks like a mess. Uh, we've been filming all day and I just wanted to make a quick video just to say hi and to show you a new plugin from Colin Kelly called Contour. Uh, Colin Kelly, as you know, is uh, a colorist working with many big companies, but he also has a really big YouTube channel where he has great schools so you can learn a lot of things from him. And he also has different kind of colorist accelerator programs which I actually went in one and it's really good but this is not a plug for Colin Kelly uh, it's just to show the new plugin that he's working on it's a look development plugin and it will be available to the public in I think maybe a week or something so definitely check it out and I'm just gonna go through the plugin really quick here and so let's just jump into Resolve so I'm on a DaVinci YRGB uh, white gamut immediate timeline and I'm in Rec 709 gamma 2.4 so it's a standard timeline and I'm doing my color management in nodes so I placed all these clips in a group called Vlog because it's shot in um, Panasonic Vlog and then I do in the pre-clip node I go from Vlog to DaVinci white gamut and on the timeline level I go from DaVinci white gamut to uh, Rex 9 Gamma 2.4 and I'm also doing some luminance mapping here uh, so max output of 100 nits and I'm also doing some saturation compression uh, <clears throat> and here when it comes to to the clips that I've chosen I've already did kind of a just like a pre-balancing of them just to to save some time this is uh, my son we were out playing the uh, the, the other week um, just so I can actually try this little plugin. So let's jump right into it if we do like this. Okay so here you can see we have put uh, contour on and it's in working space DaVinci Intermediate. You can also work in ACES or Arialog C which one you think is best. And here you see you have a different kind of like let's see if you do it like this I'm gonna put this one up here you can see the, the cubes you can always see how you're working uh, I'm not using that right now uh, but so you have so you can process the cube let's say because this is a tool that he developed for being looked at it's not a film emulation tool this is more you know to save a lot of speed when you're doing you know work that needs both long turnover and quick turnover but instead of sitting and doing manual contrast at points here you have here something that's super simple so you can just kind of go and you see the curve and you can also change kind of where the black point is you can also change if you don't want more white you also have oh sorry uh, you see you, you can change where how aggressive the curve is going to be the toe and also how strong it's going to be if it's going to be a little bit more you know rolling in and also you can change on the top and this is if you want to preserve color or if you kind of want to compress color in a way I'm usually somewhere around here because I want to keep the color in this shot and yeah so here you can see show net curve this is what we've done so far and this is in no way there's no correct order but it's kind of how Colin prioritizes these things so he starts with the curve then it goes to split toning saturation density and if you need some huge shifts so we're just gonna go through it you know from top to bottom split toning we can see that it already from the beginning he chooses the teal and orange kind of um, colors and then we can go as you can see it's no split toning and full toning so it's very subtle but this is what I really like because usually I don't want to have a lot of split toning in the highlights so I can go a little bit more towards the, the shadows and I can also pivot where I want it to happen so I kind of want it there and you have this subtractive low and subtractive high 
as you can see, it's if you want the color to be subtractive coloring, so it's gonna darken the image up a little bit. You can also do that in the highlights if you want to. This, if you see the, um, here, the split toning line, it is where you kind of want to keep the, where you want the line to, to start, or not start, but it excludes things over and under. Here you have where you want the curve to start, and also floor divergence. If you hold over here, you can see what it means. It says the behavior of red, green, and blue at the black point of the curve. And here it says the width of neutral segment at middle gray. No neutral segment or neutral segment. So, and you have the sat mask here, which is really cool because this one, if you have it at zero, split only affects low saturation areas or split affects low, medium, and high. So, if we go here, you can see if you toggle on. Oh, sorry, there. If you toggle on, off. Then it's really, really. But if we go up here, and then we can see. You see, I don't know if it's super visible in the. I think it's pretty visible, but let's go like this, and then we can go. You can also see. There you come. Yeah, you see, here we have um, a nice little split toning. Then we can go down to saturation, and here you see you have low sat. That means it's just saturating within the low saturation area of the image, mid the mid, then high. So the low saturated areas, in this case, is his skin and some of the greens in behind. So if we just pull up his face a little bit, and then you have the mid ones, they're also affecting his face quite a bit. And then you have the high, which you really can't see. And then here you have saturation strength, super saturated and black and white. So let's just keep that somewhere around here. I think this looks pretty, yeah, it's very, very subtle. There we go. And here you can see if you want the saturation to go heavier towards red or towards cyan, but I'll go a bit heavier to the red here because I want to have some more in his face. Um, density. This makes the colorful areas of the image darker and in this particular shot, he's not very dark anywhere, so you can see his lips is going to be affected. But what you can do is, if you go here to focus, if you pull the slider down, it's going to affect more parts of the image. If you see his skin now. So, let's say, and then if you go up, it's going to affect... So. If we read here, it says, says the range of saturation affected by the density. As focus increases, density is limited to higher saturations. So if we put that kind of there and then we can actually see just very ever so slightly. And here in this, we see skin tone sits a little bit above what I want it to be. So we can just take the hue slider and kind of just get it down to a bit more of a proper skin saturation so as you can see this was about five minutes six minutes and I just went through them all it's really quick also so you can see how fast it can work but so this is where we took it from to this and then if we wanna we can dial back a little bit on the contrast here maybe yeah and then we can see it's really nice because it works all over the board with the clips. So, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, then I would like to add some green, of course, too. Yeah, so this is... Um, 
yeah, let's just... Uh... Okay, so that was just a super fast walkthrough of the plugin. I'm gonna do a more in-depth one when I learn the plugin more, but for now this... Actually, when I saw it first, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be, you know, helpful in some times, but now I actually realize that instead of sitting on every project to make your saturation curve, this is so easy because you got full control of your uh, S-curves, you can make it, you know, super fast, super simple. Also split toning sometimes if you go to other plugins or if you sit and do them by yourself, it's tedious and sometimes it's too powerful or too, you know, in your face. So super happy with it and make sure, you know, follow Colin Kelly on in Instagram, no, sorry, on YouTube and he's probably gonna share about this as soon as he releases it to the public but like i said i'm not an affiliate this is not a plug or well, it's a plug but it's nothing i get paid for i just really think that if you're going into color grading and you want to be fast and efficient because this doesn't only work on you know a super cinematic project you can do it on pretty much anything that you need a fast turnover or if you want to be even deeper in it so check out contour by con kelly just you know follow his uh, channel and yeah, don't forget to follow my channel as well. So, cheers. Bye.